town you never know what you're gonna get once you get to location it's it's not muddy so that's good it was dry and wet dry and wet dry and wet on the way out and we don't have a whole lot to do here we got mud tank flight plant catwalk I think the boilers back behind me here a couple shacks rig sub Nice, so they hauled all the tubs and uh, a couple of the outbuildings around the outside of the rig, so that's sweet. Won't take long today at all once we get, a, get it going. Oh, the Bronson's been improved quite a bit since the last time. I haven't been down here since like two winters ago. Did a bunch of sow work. It was like my first, was it my first winter? My first or my second winter here. Missing that action for sure. It'll be on a replay someday.
like, hey, you look like something good to eat. A little bit of snack. Doesn't even fit. I gotta squish it in there. It's a big boy. Dirty down there. That means I gotta shut down the rest of the control center for an hour. Get this mess. Plug that in. Try to burn my truck down. Red light is on. We're golden. Woo! I'm going to grab the loader here, we're just waiting. Stack a few more things up. Pretty much got her all cleaned up. They did a bunch the other day, I think I already said that. So. We get loaded, it's probably the last load.
how much battery is left in this thing. 48%.
potatoes and carrots and steak. Oh, it's good stuff. So anyway, gotta go back to town. <laughs> Boss must have phoned as soon as I was leaving there. He's just like, got an instinct to know when I'm done and when I'm not. Missed his call like 40 minutes as I was sitting there shooting the poop. Phone him back. Like we what do a um, garbage can? I'm like, sure. I think what is, it's noon. So I'm like, yeah, I got time to do a garbage can. So we'll go back to town, go to Clean Harvest, grab a can. We're gonna do a swab. We're gonna go out to the rig and uh, swab it out there. Bring back a full can. We'll leave my trailer at Clean Harvest since I gotta come back. Look at that rig's gone, they're doing the frack. Hoods, doing the crane work. Literally got rain sections here every once in a while. First run out, I thought we were gonna get rain. Thought it was gonna be all over. But uh, it was decent, so. Stayed dry enough, didn't have to chain up, so that's good. Only had three loads, nice. And uh, got a garbage can kicker. Then we got pin load tomorrow. Going out to uh, Jackfish, which is out by Conklin. Easy money. This paycheck's gonna be decent. This is good. Hardy too, this is gonna fill me up probably. Okay, leaving 80910, heading for the Bronx. Ouch, take the microphone out of your mouth. All right, we'll see you back there.
Better than raining. Technically, you don't have to put the strap on there, but it rides way better, especially when it's bananaed like this. Plus, DOT gets wood when you throw extra straps on. They love that stuff. It's like X-rated videos for them. It's only got half a skid at the front, half a skid at the back, so if I don't put that block underneath my fifth wheel, that half skid up there, those two square beams, catch right on the front of that. Bad news. Down. Probably just be upside down. That's, that's my problem there. So I have to kind of sneak it in here so it catches. So it'll just fall off. Can't put two hooks on there. I need like another, like a hook on the back side or something here. Or another square pocket actually would work. Just great. I got. I looked up on Land Tracker, the location 99. Who knows if it's surface downhole? You never get one or the other. You never know. So, anyways, 
I went and checked that out, and that leads us to this farmhouse. Well, there's a lease right behind this farmhouse, but I gave him a call. I'm like, hey. And she's like, oh, you're already back. I'm like, no, I'm just getting here. I would be already loaded and on my way back if the load directions are right. And then I noticed I'm missing a mud flap, too. I'm like, god damn, mud flaps. I wonder if it's sitting on the ground where I loaded the garbage. I would have noticed when I was chaining it down. So it must have... It's pretty windy, and I have, and this is what you get for cheating when you bolt a ripped off mud flap back on the truck. I wonder where I lost it. I was hauling ass. I was trying to catch up to that cab over. He was hauling ass on the flat. He was pulling away from me, but as soon as we hit Antler Hill there, I was able to catch up to him, get a peek. It's K100. So anyways, I'm sure they're phoning and someone's not answering, they're leaving a message, and here we are. What if it's that drilling rig we moved? Up there. I bet you it is. I don't know if that's an artist one or not. But anyhow, <laughs> hopefully we get some direction here soon, and uh, get on, I'm gonna have to gonna have to have another steak and potato carrot onion butter highs wrap tummy is growling just a little bit it's a whole process when you only have one plug-in right so it's charge the GoPro or eat but if I don't get the camera rolling and keep it charged I won't be eating you guys are my paycheck <laughs> Just kidding. We'll uh, hopefully know here shortly and we'll be right back.
sigh of relief that the day is done. But there's a fair day for me tomorrow. I don't got the full particulars, but it sounds like go to where, is it? where do you say? Car stairs. Get a loader for Strad. And then we gotta go to Cochrane. Unload the loader. Transform into Swamp Matt Louie. And uh, they must be taken apart. Some right away down there that they were doing. I know Joe at Raylin was saying he's like, yeah, we took a bunch of line boring equipment down to Cochrane. So maybe it entails wherever that is. Said it was in some sweet residential area, it was tight. I'm like, nice. I like it tight. So I guess we'll see. Anyways, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Hall loader. Shuttler is back in full effect just for the day. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. It'll be some kind of different footage anyways. Better than the pin load I was going to take to Conklin anyways. Anyway, back to the shop. Fix mud flap because I'll need that tomorrow and well, I got to go home and do Trans Mountain again. We'll see. I think it just expired. He said Trans Mountain. Oh. I looked left and there was nobody there. I looked back again and there's three cars. Oh, and I hate this approach. Sucks. Because everything comes from behind the trees in these garbage cans. If you wait for one, you gotta wait for like ten. But anyway. The truck driving day is pretty much over, but the job still goes on. Brunch time. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.